In this video, we are going to talk all about Lake Como and places to visit on the lake. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Lake Como Lake Como is a secret gem in northern Italy. Lake Como is shaped like the letter Y, turned upside down, rather than the usual oval shape that lakes have. It's also huge, with a wishbone-shaped architecture that contains many beautiful towns and places to visit. Many visitors flock to Lake Como in the summer months for these reasons alone, hoping to relax and soak up the Italian sun. The lake is so famous that actor George Clooney purchased a summer home there in 2002, dubbed the Villa Oleandra by locals. Lake Como, Lago di Como, is a well-known Italian lake destination located near Milan in northern Italy. Lake Como is 50 kilometers long, slender, and deep. The southern end splits into two long legs, with the picturesque town of Bellagio nestled between them on a promontory. Lake Como, like the other Italian lakes, has been a popular tourist destination since the Roman Empire. Since then, visitors have marveled at the turquoise waters and unwinded in the spacious villas that dot the wooded lakeside slopes above. The majority of the towns along Lake Como's shores are now popular with visitors, walkers, cyclists, and swimmers. Lake Como is 29 miles, 47 kilometers, long and up to 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers, deep, covering 56 square miles, 146 square kilometers, and reaching a maximum depth of 1,358 feet, 414 meters. The Adda River, which enters near Calico and exits at Lecco, as well as the waters of several other rivers and mountain streams, including the Mara, flow through it. It is prone to flooding and is swept by two winds the Tavano in the morning and the Breva in the afternoon. Its northern arm once stretched all the way to Chiavenna, enclosing the area now occupied by Mezzola Lake. Como is connected to Virgil, the two Plinies, and Claudian's classical writings. Here's a list of the places to visit on the lake, let's start. Number 10. Bellagio. Bellagio is widely regarded as one of Europe's most beautiful cities, located at the northern tip of the triangular landmass that divides the lake's southern half into two branches. Bellagio is the most popular town on Lake Como, and it's also the most visited, thanks to its unbeatable panoramic views and flower-lined streets. Whether you want to stay in such a popular and expensive location depends entirely on your preferences, but it's worth seeing for the old-world elegance, shopping in the arcades that face the sea and enjoying an aperitivo at one of the hotels or restaurants near the ferry dock. Number 9. Tremezzo. Tremezzo, located directly across the lake from Bellagio, is a picturesque town that practically begs to be visited for its two main attractions. The first is Villa Carlotta, which has over 500 different species of azaleas, rhododendrons, Japanese maples, palm trees, cacti, bamboo, orchids, and other plants in its gardens. The grounds cover more than 14 acres, and the villa's small array of paintings, sculptures, and tapestries is worth seeing. The Grand Hotel Tremezzo, one of Lake Como's top hotels, is the town's second main attraction. Number 8. Varenna. Varenna is an excellent option for visitors who do not want to drive to the lake since it is one of the few towns accessible by train from Milan. Varenna is a traditional fishing village with brightly colored homes and villas clustered along the waterfront which is lined by a charming passerella, boardwalk. Varenna is both romantic and quiet, rustic and quaint, in fact, there isn't much to do here, which is why people come. There are also the enthralling gardens of the Villa Monastero to visit, as well as a walk up to Vezio Castle for stunning views and to see the permanent display on the Lariosaurus and the aviary housing birds of prey. Other towns such as Bellagio, Menaggio, and Cadenabia are easily accessible from Varenna. Number 7. Como. The town of Como is usually considered little more than a gateway to other towns by travelers arriving by train from Milan, as this is where you catch ferries to different parts of the lake. All who do spend time here will find it worthwhile. There is a magnificent 15th century cathedral, the Silk Museum, the Romanesque Sant'Abendio, historic San Fidele, a lovely lakeside promenade, the Mediaeval city center, and much more to see and do. Number 6. Bellano. Bellano, located on the eastern side of Lake Como's northern branch, is less visited than Varenna but no less charming. Bellano is a surprisingly peaceful break from the crowds, with its usual quaint lakeside homes, tall trees, and pristine beach. 
The Orido di Torrent Pioverna, a plunging, 15-million-year-old ravine created by erosion, is its most popular attraction. The gorge can be seen from afar thanks to viewing bridges that allow you to photograph the caves and the glistening blue water inside the ravine. Bolano is where you can get a lakefront room with a balcony for less money than Bellagio or Verena due to its relative lack of popularity. Number 5. Menaggio. Menaggio is a great place to start exploring the northern and southern parts of the lake, as it is directly across the lake from Verena and near to Bellagio. This aesthetically pleasing, extremely laid-back town is similar to Bellagio, though it is much less prominent, and it is home to some residents who commute 8 miles to Lugano, Switzerland. It was once a medieval walled fortress, but now it's a thriving resort with hotels, restaurants, live entertainment, arcades, stores, and even a mini-golf course. It's easy to spend an entire day lounging along the lovely lakefront promenade, with its flower beds and palm trees, but it's also worth ascending the steep stairs to explore the older part of town, where remains of the former wall can be seen. Number 4. Cernobio. Cernobio, located one mile northwest of Como, is home to the world-famous Villa d'Est, one of the most opulent hotels not only on the lake, but in all of Italy. Established in 1568 as a cardinal's summer residence, it was transformed into a luxury hotel in 1873 and has catered to Europe's rich and famous ever since. Aside from the hotel, Cernobio has a quiet yet cosmopolitan vibe, and its relatively flat topography makes it feel more spacious than many other lakeside cities. Cernobio is home to the lovely Villa Urba and Villa Bernasconi, as well as one of the largest piazzi located in any town on the lake. Hardcore hikers can appreciate the town's proximity to the start of the Monte Lariani Trail, which stretches 80 miles to the lake's northernmost point. Number 3. Cadenabia. Cadenabia, which is part of the municipality of Griante in the central part of Lake Como, is known for its opulent villas, grand hotels, beautiful parks, historic churches, and hiking trails. To put it another way, this town has it all. Villa Carlotta, which was built in the early 1700s and is known for its beautiful landscaping and art collection, is one of the lake's most prominent, and visited, estates. The Sanctuary of Madonna della Grazie di San Martino, the oldest part of which dates back to Roman times, and Italy's first Anglican church are both located here, thanks to an influx of English residents in the 1800s. You can walk the entire length of the Lake Como Greenway, which runs from Cadenabia to Colonio and is 612 miles long. Number 2. Damaso. Damaso, the windsurfing capital of Lake Como, is located just northeast of Gravedona and is popular with young travelers who also come for fishing, swimming, and sailing, as well as a variety of nightclubs, bars, and restaurants. Because of its popularity with budget travelers, the town lacks the ritzy hotels found elsewhere on the lake. It does, however, have some decent lodging, but you may be better off renting an apartment for your stay. Apart from the water sports and nightlife, the town hall, formerly known as Villa Camilla, and the 16th-century church of San Bartolomeo have fantastic frescoes. Number 1. Calico. Across the lake from Damaso is a small, undiscovered town dwarfed by Mount Legnoni, 8,560 feet. This is a great spot for history buffs to visit because it is low-key and laid back. Fort Fuentes, a hilltop fortress built under the orders of the Spanish governor of Milan in the early 17th century, can still be visited. Napoleon ordered it destroyed in 1796, although some remains can still be seen today. Fort Montecchio Lusardi is also in Calico, and it is the only Italian fort from World War I that has been preserved with its original cannons. The Abbazia di Piona, a Romanesque abbey with a spectacular view of the lake, the 12th century church of San Nicolao, with romantic and gothic elements. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video be sure to like, and subscribe our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.